So this video is going to show you how you can compose your phishing email. For homework, I have you guys sending me uh, an email. Here's my email address. And you want a phishing email including three of these features, these seven of them. Uh, I'm also asking you to highlight the features you use and indicate what they are and create a color key at the bottom of the email. So I'm attaching this video tutorial um, to show you how to compose this, highlight the text, and some other things. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to go to your email, uh, your uh, school email account. You're going to hit compose. You get a window in which you're going to type your message. So if you start typing my first name, D-E-B-O-R, it should pop up. If it doesn't, you might need to go back to that phishing email uh, link and highlight this and copy and paste it or write it down or however however you can do that. So you're going to send it to me. The subject should be indicating you know what the uh, email is about. It should be something that's going to kind of lure me in. So maybe I want one that's going to tell me that I won something. So you can do that one. You can make one that is a phishing email uh, to lure me in. Maybe they uh, it's an email about my account in for my account's in trouble. I might need some. Uh, I might need to transfer some funds over or verify some account information. Whatever you want to do, you know, have fun with this. So I'm going to compose an email. I'm going to put the uh, tape on pause for a minute. I'm recording on, and I'm going to stop recording. I'm going to put the compose the email, and then I'm going to swing back to this and show you the next step. It's this email, and it talks about one of 10 people randomly selected for this grand prize, a free trip to Bermuda with the celebrity of my choice, clicking on the link, filling out a form, uh, being in touch with the next two days to give you the details, complete this form within 24 hours or the deal is off. Okay, so um, I have a couple of features of this that indicate to the reader that it is a phishing email. I'm gonna go back here Here's the phishing email features. Now I'm going to show you a little bit of a shortcut because you're going to indicate to me which ones you're using. You can actually copy these and paste them into your email at the bottom. This is going to be a key. Now I don't need all seven of these. I only need to use um, at least three. So I would say that this sentence right here, free trip to Bermuda, all expenses paid, that's probably a too good to be true. So I'm going to show you how you can highlight your words. So this sentence right here, this whole entire sentence, I want to highlight it. You come to, down below here, you're going to see text color. If you don't see this window, it might be, um, you might need to hit the formatting option. So you find this A with the underline and you click it. Then you hit this little arrow next to the A. You have a choice of text color or background color. Now the background color, I'll pick yellow. What that'll do is it'll kind of highlight it in the color. I can do the same thing if I wanted to. You know, I wanted to pick yellow. I can highlight it again, go back. I'm going to keep the background color white, but I can make the text color yellow. Oops, let me do that again. I think I have the background yellow as well. So I'll click on this side button. So you can do one or the other. It doesn't really make any difference. My preference is that the text is black and it's highlighted. It just it looks easier to read. Okay. So now the thing is, it's too good to be true. I'm going to highlight this in the same yellow, just like that. Or if I don't want to highlight it, I could put dash yellow. Yeah, I could write that out. That's fine. So um, click on the link and fill out the form. So I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to attach a form. Go back. Let's make this a light blue. And it is a link in an email or attachment. So hopefully this is making sense for you. Uh, please complete this form within 24 hours or the deal is off. So this one kind of gives me an idea that there is a sense of urgency. And I can go with more, um, oops, wrong color, there we go. 
Um, spelling errors, I can misspell some things. Need to verify account information. Um, alert that the account is in trouble. Generic greeting. There is no generic greeting at all. Um, so I didn't really do any of these other sort of things. So you can just delete them. So I do have the three of them. Now the very last thing is something like if you want to put a link to a video like I had for the first one that I sent you today or if you wanted to create a form you literally can go to um, your apps and you can go to Google Forms. I started to create one and you can say you know um, please write your full name below and then it's a short answer I'm going to add a question please actually I'm going to put it on pause I'm going to finish this up and I'll come back when I'm done form this is just one of the possibilities that you could uh, use for a link if you wanted to get a little bit more uh, involved in this so but winner, please complete all the information in, on this form, submit within 24 hours, and I have all this information that I want this person to um, fill out. So I'm going to go to the preview. This is what it's going to look like. I'm going to copy this doc by command C, and I go back to my email, and I will highlight this text. And I will have a link. Actually, probably better off just putting it in form here. Okay. So maybe I want to move this though. Oops, sorry about that. Maybe I want to move this down though. And that's it. So if you send this in to me uh, before the end of class or the beginning of class next time we meet, that would be great. Um, I will honor you guys to give you a little bit more time if you need to because of some of you guys needed to go to the chorus rehearsal. So I do understand that. Um, that's it. So if you do have any questions, please shoot me an email. Let me know. Um, I will. Look at the emails that you send. I will put some comments in if you need to refine something. So, like I said, hopefully you can get these done. I'll give you a little bit of time during class if need be. Okay? Good luck.